My name is Sarah Jane Snyder and I'm going to be teaching you about how to set up and break down the Valscope unit. So today we are going to be talking about the Valscope VX. The great thing about the Valscope VX is the fact that it is portable. With it being portable, it allows you for easy oral cancer screening. It also has this really nice charging base. So with the Valscope unit, it's very important to have it set up and have it set up correctly. Typically, what I like to do is have it set up before the patient even gets into my operatory. Some people do also like to set it up during the appointment, but the best thing is just to have it set up so that way, if any time you have two minutes to just do that a cancer screening, you can get it done. So let's talk about setting it up, okay? So the first thing that we're going to look at is the Valscope sheet. All right, as you can see that the sheath has two wide circles here, all right? This one is a little bit wider, so this is where the eyepiece is going to go, and this is where the fluorescence is going to emit from. So how we put this on is we basically put it over the unit, just like you would with a headrest cover. So the most important thing about this is it is a one-time use sheath. You're not gonna use this more than one patient. It's simply gonna be for one patient and then you're gonna toss it. So the great thing about this sheath is also the fact that it allows proper ventilation within the machine. This machine is a very high powered machine, so you wanna make sure that it is properly ventilated so it does not break down. The other great thing about it is it will prevent from any type of debridement or cross-contamination within the operatory. You always want to apply this plastic disposable sheath on the valscope before moving forward to the next step, placing the valve cap. All right, so first we have here, this is the valve cap. As you can see, there's this little tab here. So this is what you're going to align with this bar here, okay? So by assembling the valve scope unit, you have to place this single lens called the valve cap. You start by positioning the valve cap, you start by positioning the valve cap at a parallel angle to the front of the face of the device. Gently press the valve scope cap into position and you'll hear that little click. All right, that little click is letting you know that it's completely secure on there. The valve scope is designed to ensure for a sepsis and prevent fogging while protecting the optics of the valve scope unit and filter. This is the end where you will see the blue tissue fluorescence emitting from. So this is very important to protect everything and your unit all together. So after you have assembled this, you wanna keep it in your room ready for that busy patient who really only has two minutes for that dental exam. This is something that should be done by every hygienist. Like I said, it only takes two minutes to do and it can really save lives. If oral cancer is found, at a late stage, only 50% of people actually survive from it. Um, if it is found in a early stage, it can be about 83% of survival rate. So this is a very, very crucial thing. Now we have to talk about disassembling, all right? When we go to disassemble, like I mentioned before, both of these are one-time use only. One-time use meaning they can only be used once and then they must be discarded. First, we're gonna take off the cap or the valve scope cap. The valve scope cap is a simple pop off, okay? You're gonna throw this in the trash. We're never going to reuse this again. Same thing with this. Just like we did before, we put the sheath and then the cap. Now it's the cap, then the sheath. We take the sheath off and that gets tossed away as well. Now we are left with our full valve scope down to its bare minimum. So there's a little bit of contraindication with Valscope's writings. Some say that you can use something like a cavi wipe or a Birex to wipe down the outer surface to make sure that it's clean. Also on their website, it says that you cannot. I will tell you a personal preference. I always wipe this down with a cavi wipe. Um, by doing that, you're also again, preventing from the cross-contamination and allowing the product to stay nice, clean, and ready to go for the next patient. You never want to wipe this area. Since this is where the filter and everything that is in this investment is right here, you never want to touch the cavity wipe to this surface. That is why the lens is so thick. They do say that with the Valscope, it is very important that even though you wipe it down in between each patient to prevent it from debridement 
and dust and all this other stuff, you want to always apply a new fresh sheath to the valve scope before putting it back onto the charger, okay? So we're always gonna put this back on. Now the cap you're not going to place back on, but you are always gonna have this to keep the surfaces clean. Since, like I said, there is some variant choices on wiping it down or not. And we're gonna keep it right there. And that's how you both set up and discard the Valscope. Have a great day.